I'm as surprised as you are that this content warning is here, but if YouTube's given you this video on a list of My Little Pony content and you're propping up your preschoolers to watch it, please for God's sake don't. This is by far the most violent video I've ever featured. You'll see blood, guts, fascist imagery, strong language, torture, executions, you name it, it's got it. With that in mind, let's play My Little Pony? Right, so this is what's happening. It's Friday morning, and I am going to be playing a My Little Pony game. Uh, this is an example of uh, how you can use GZ Doom to create entirely original games of your own. This uses no Doom assets whatsoever. It's by Sanya Waffles and friends, and uh, I'm just going to let the introduction introduce us. Um, I'm going to put this on Where's the Trigger, because even though it's it sounds slightly uh, on the easy side this is apparently the medium mode and that's where I'm going to uh, that's where I'm going to start due to their importance in controlling weather and other divine areas of expertise there's a certain bit of nationalism within the Pegasus race this is especially true within the proud city of Cloudsdale however something in the recent past changed that made this even more profound Pegasi across Equestria were suddenly required to do intensive fitness exams if they failed, they were incarcerated at the Cloudsdale Weather Corporation. Meet Skulu. Despite being trained by the exceptional Rainbow Dash, she failed her exams. Not only her, but her friends Orion Solstice and Aurora Dawn. The feds rolled in to cart them away, but Skulu didn't take that sitting down. She caused a distraction and escaped. A guard chased her down, so she had to wrestle him in the construction zone before overpowering him. The two fell down a ventilation shaft, 30 floors to the surface, to the Cloudsdale Weather Corporation's ground location. Fortunately for Skulu, she survived the fall. The guard was not so lucky. She found a two-way CB radio, a utility belt, and a hoof blaster on the dead guard. Surely she could use those to contact someone to help her. However, she couldn't get a signal from there. Armoring herself with a blaster and utility belt, she saw a door ahead of her. Her goal was simple. Survive? Rescue Orion and Aurora if she could. There is no telling what unspeakable nightmare she'd encounter. I gotta get out of here. And so that's how the game begins. Uh, obviously, there is a sort of Nazi eugenics undercurrent to uh, My Little Pony that I frankly didn't pick up on when watching the cartoon with Penny. Oh dear, I'm going to have to put a content warning on this. I was hoping, I was hoping for a nice little fluffy game, but uh, I, I, uh, I'm. Sometimes we don't get what we want. Oh, locked out. Check your credentials. Most exits are locked by a management access card. All right, and you can see you can see the GZ Doom engine at work here. But you can see look at all these coloured lighting and uh, all those are rations, vending machine, a delayed secret open. What did I do? Now this the 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 uh, enemy voices remind me of Rise of the Triad. So I've got the... is this a shotgun now? This looks a bit hefty to be a shotgun, frankly. Uh, oh! CMC-32 rocket launcher. Now with anti-hooligan... Ah! Hello! Bloody hell! Uh, <laughs> okay, well, I'll keep this in my back pocket. What have I got? I've got one, that's, the bla that's the blaster. And you've got infinite ammunition for that, and then three's the rocket launcher. Okay. All right, so we've got coins, we've got... Um, uh, let me bring down the console a minute. Oh, right, those were armor shards, and we've got a green key cut. Now you have a machine gun, ho, ho, ho! <laughs> well done. Okay. Um, are these explosive? No, but they're, they're certainly... Uh, Contact HQ. They certainly... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, so... Those are not uh, hit scan attacks, but they might as well be for the. Uh... What is going on? Uh, 
Okay, apparently I'm now a chicken. Oh, this is Rise of the Triad. You've got uh, trampolines and everything. All right, now I'm back to my... No what is this? I have a nailer? Is that what it is? Hailer? This is just one surprise after another. Boing! All right, I don't think... Whoa, okay, my jump height's a bit uh, higher than I expected. And you've got, a, you've got a dynamic jump height as well, which I didn't know was possible. You, you can tap space to go just really high, or, or you can hold it to go really, really, really high. I suppose, uh, am I a... Uh, do I have wings? I'm a pegasus, or a normal, uh, standard talking horse? Oh, well, okay. All right. Crunch, crunch, crunch. That's going to be my uh, health, the uh, horse feed. What's this? Management key card, okay. Hmm. 9906758, is that a significant number, I wonder? Oh, that's going to be uh, explosive. All right. What, who, who caught me? <laughs> they're being, they're being very coy about actually not letting me get away. I just I can't see them at all. All right, th these rations. I'm not hungry. Okay. Oh, I suppose that that must be health, and I've got a hundred of them. You misappropriated a missile launcher. That's very Rise of the Triad. And basic armor. So uh, what happens if we go to the map? All oh, right. Yeah, you can see that this the whole game is just like there's no doom in this at all. It's uh, an entirely original game made on the uh, GZ Doom engine. And I absolutely love that it's a platform that can allow people to do that. Oh dear. Uh, Lidl's going to have burger meat for a while. That, that was several years ago. Please don't sue me. Uh, Alright, and that looks like the end of E1M1. I'm looking to see... Okay, so... Are the, are the, is that my ammunition down there? Missiles, bombs, lightning... 22 coins. Oh no, up at the top left, that's where are uh, the normal. 26 out of 26. It's 2 out of 3 secrets. That'll do me. Alright. Winding Halls is next. I'll just check behind you. Is that. That's an SS logo in My Little Pony! Never been quite sure what it is about uh, darkening the My Little Pony universe up, in particular. There's this artist that I really love. Uh, uh, he's, he's got Baron Angel on Twitter. Uh, B, uh, Baron, then E-N-G-E-L. And he draws, uh, sometimes not quite safe work, so be careful, uh, artwork of the uh, characters sort of aged up and in this uh, post-nuclear apocalypse world. And he is a, an astonishing artist. I'm not quite sure where the uh, subject matter, putting those two things together, came from, but he is absolutely amazing at, at doing it. Um, <laughs> and, uh, even though it's, um, uh, I, so I, I, I hoped that I would be able to think up what the rest of that sentence was before I said it, but it didn't happen. I'll, I'll let you know if I ever uh, update it. 
Oh, he's a sort of ninja pony. Now I'm I'm kind of surprised that my health hasn't gone down yet. <laughs> ah, it's is that my armor? That's yeah, okay. I had I had armor on that was protecting me. And it looks like that armor gives me a hundred percent protection, unlike unlike the Doom ones. All right, that's the green key card. Yeah, even uh, despite all the kind of weird uh, Nazi. <laughs> Overtones that uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of they seem to enjoy putting these uh, cute characters into this uh, really post-apocalyptic world. Uh, the, the fandom is an incredibly creative place. I, I worked with one of them uh, in uh, uh, when I did the day the night slept because uh, I'd heard him singing on a, a rock opera called uh, Fall of an Empire that was very My Little Pony themed. Uh, that was uh, De Wilstonator is his name, uh, William Patterson. Whoa! Well, uh, that's uh, not the best distance to shoot those barrels from, but it worked. Um, and he, he just has this amazing voice, and uh, the 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 story and artistry behind uh, the L Train, which is the name of the the, the band, the single uh, the single person who made this uh, rock opera, it's just incredible. So, like I'm saying, the the, the Artistry and creativity of this fandom is is just beyond anything else. Um, apart from that one who just shot everyone in uh, in the middle of America, but we'll, we'll we'll gloss over him. This reminds me a bit of um. There was a game on the PlayStation 2, it was one of the first PS2 games I ever played, called Fur Fighters. Where you had these, uh, these little teddy bears full of white fluff in a third-person shooter, and, uh, and when you shot uh, other characters, they, they just squeaked and exploded into cotton wool. I'm questioning how... Why human toilets are here for a uh, four-legged species, but perhaps it's best not to imagine the mechanics of it. Oh, let's um, let's uh, put my quick save on this because this is a separate exe. Uh, I actually had a bit of trouble running this, and I'll have to report that in the uh, topic on Doom World that uh, the uh, the PK3 packaged with the standalone version doesn't work. I think it's uh, it's just been partially uploaded. But I downloaded the standalone PK3 and put that into the. Uh, I, I no, I, I downloaded the PK3 that you're meant to use in GZ Doom. Put that into the standalone installation, and that worked. All right, let's see. Uh, use them. Da, 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 da. All right, I, I just put quick save on control because uh, it's within easy reach, and I don't. I'm not really using control for anything else. Having promoted fire onto the mouse button. Ah, oh, okay. You also need to turn on something. What is it? Um, is there an option set? There it is. Um, Rotation, I think it's called. Yes, quick save rotation is on, and that lets you truly quick save. Because if you don't truly quick save, if you don't have that on, you need to uh, prompt. Yeah, it prompts you for a save first, and then it always prompts you to overwrite the save. So it's not really quick save at all. Alright, I thought that would do something. It didn't. 
So we are heading back. It's interesting that armor and health are just stack on top of each other, and there's no real distinction between them because armor, uh, armor absorbs 100% of the damage. Shooter. Def definite rise of the triad uh, influences, I would say. these lines I, I want to I want to shake your hand if it, it weren't potentially deadly in today's environment okay Whee! Now it looks like there was meant to be a light source here, doesn't there? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I destroyed it and uh, the dynamic light doesn't update. What did I get from that? I got a did I get a green key card or a master key card? I I just can't remember. Uh, blah 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 blah. Mr. Brobie the missile launcher got the green key card. Ah, oh, but that let me through here, didn't it? Didn't it? Yeah, that looks green. Can I get water from the cooler? No. Well, get lost them. Aha! Whoa, that's a that's a quake sound effect. That's a grenade. Oh, I don't suppose there's a chance I can get their grenade launchers, is there? Right. Deep Fire Mines is next. Now I recognize that quake sound effect. Wow. Um, well, that wasn't so lucky. There's a little... Uh... Now I don't know if that's made out of sectors or voxels or if it's a model. Might not be best to have this out in close quarters. Whee! Almost forgot I could uh, jump that high. Warning, bridge is out, okay. Hold down jump, default space, and move to glide around. What? You can also look around while doing this. You can also run, default shift to gain speed. Alright. Oh, whoa! Oh, all right, so I can I can lower my lower the influence of gravity on myself by holding down space. I think you can't you can't really hover, but you can you can glide a bit. A lightning gun. I'm not going to fire this underwater, am I? Whoop, whoop. Okay. Why? All right. Is this just going to stay forever? There we go. Oh! Maybe let's uh, go around to a place where I can uh, fight in a bit more close quarters. This is a, this is a two weapon. Oh, works well enough. Now that's a secret, if I've ever seen it. Yeah, okay. So I, I, I tried to open it and that didn't work, but... 
Well, this seems to work perfectly well underwater without detonating the entire cave. This music's uh, very uh, unreal, isn't it? And I, I am getting away because you walked into the water. Oh, back here. Now, is that a key card I've got? It wasn't that one. Right. Not sure what that gave me. Maybe I missed something on the have to come back, but uh, looks like I have to face this room. Where I'm really very exposed. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, the Hailer again. I, for I forgot about that. Red access required. Okay. I wasn't really expecting that to open. Oh, hailer, like hail, so it's ice, okay. I was thinking, like, a, some sort of loud hailer. <laughs> Cupcake says, bonjour. Maybe there's just, I'm not really all that versed in the lore of the program, so uh, maybe there's something I'm missing here. That's a very fast rocket launcher. It's interesting. It's Jesus Christ. It's uh it's um interesting that all the enemies, apart from the grenade launchers, they have extremely fast projectiles. It's not like in Doom where they go at this kind of casual pace. Whoa! Yeah, I'm having difficulty shooting there because the auto-aim is on. I'm wondering if I can uh, set up my player, hang on. Or if I'm even meant to. I might not be. Uh, full options menu. Player setup. That's me. Uh, auto-aim is on zero. Alright. Halt! Stop! Stop! Halt! Oh, I forgot I could just jump up to them and that would help my aiming. Alright then. Right, they... They seem to line up quite nice, line, line up quite nicely for you, so uh, when there's a couple of different ones around, uh, they're never too difficult. A Philly Seeker? Oh, I suppose it's a, I suppose it's a Heat Seeker missile launcher. I had to, I had to remember in what context they might be using the word Philly. And a rainbower and the management key. 
This is, uh, you've got an impressive array of weapons going on here. Oh! Jesus Christ! Alright. We are through the deep fire mines. The mosh pit is next. Just out of interest, uh, what's the... Uh, what was the map list like? Alright, so we're on the last one of episode one. Uh, we could we could probably just do the whole thing, honestly. Alright. Alright, let's not waste too many of those. Um, yeah, there's a lot of supplies here, aren't there? This is going to be a boss. Oh, it's a it's a bathroom again. Nothing of value. Welcome to the mosh pit. Oh, fuck me. Yes. What? So, Helga Hitler Pony is going to be teleporting around and firing tornadoes at me, is the impression I'm getting. I wonder if they're mechanically the same as the ones in uh, Heretic. Ow! It's a bit odd that um, her health bar isn't going down, but her health percentage is. Oh, for God's sake, I've just got a window for Windows saying, it's almost time to restart. Your version of Windows 10 will soon be seen in the end of service. Well, good, because I won't have to deal with this window popping up anymore. Leave me alone. <clears throat> I have, I have in earnest tried to update this Windows. And all it does is it says, well, we're working on it. And then it gives up and says, we're undoing the changes. And it, uh, and it just stays where it is. Uh, okay, so they're just teleporting in. I was wondering if I was just missing when they were arriving, but it looks like they're going to be coming in a never-ending wave. They're quite resilient to rockets as well. Whoops. I genuinely can't tell amidst the noise if she's saying Bucker or if she's saying something else.
Haha! I anticipated that through reading your subtitles. This is nice escalation of the boss situation here. Ow. This is a bit more of a formidable boss fight than I would have expected playing a My Little Pony game. Ooh! Okay, so there's some ro there's some rocketeers around there. All right, I, s I see your help right now. I was thrown by the way it wasn't uh, going towards the left, it goes towards the middle. So at high levels it, you don't really notice it diminishing. Oops! Yeah, I think... Uh, well, I was, I was saying, I, I was going to say, I think uh, getting rid of the rocket ponies is a fool's errand and uh, I should just defeat her as quickly as possible. But I'm not totally sure. Ah! Got atomized in Spectre. Oh, is Spectre that liquid down there? Yeah, it is. Press space at slightly the wrong time. Here we go. Surprise now! Wow. She took a breather after enduring the heated battle with Surprise and her platoon of rocket guards. She could hardly believe it herself. She spotted the exit behind Surprise's mosh pit. She climbed a radio tower and signaled for help. She managed to get a hold of someone, but it was going to take a while for reinforcements to arrive. Skulu was on her own. Eventually, she found a computer room. One of the screens lit up. Why, hello there, Scootaloo. The aqua green pony looked like a bastardized version of Rainbow Dash. Scootaloo was shocked and confused. Who are you? The rainbow maned pony didn't acknowledge. Surrender now, Scootaloo. There's nowhere to go. This factory will be your grave. I don't need to kill you yet. I can kill one of your friends first. Doesn't that sound fun? They let out a menacing laugh. Skula knew what she had to do. She had to get them back for sure. Little did she know what fears and horrors would await her. Bloody hell. Alright, episode two. Dr. Atmosphere, the head engineer, needed to act fast. Skula was approaching at a rapid pace. He asked the Rainbow Main Pegasus for advice. They calmly contemplated for a moment. Release the Enforcers. Dr. Atmosphere was reluctant at first. They are a wee bit unstable. We need more time to test them. The multicolored Pegasus was not having it. I don't care. Do it now. Dr. Atmosphere chuckled a bit and gave the Pegasus an unusual looking amulet. Okay then, but I'm warning you. The totalitarian Pegasus put it on and let out a scream of agonizing pain. Hmm.
Hello, Scootaloo. It seems you're making quite a mess of this place. Oh, where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Atmosphere, the head engineer of this facility. Well, you heard him. Let's head into the factory and annihilate the Nazi doctor. If this is going to be like Quake 4, I'm never going to forgive you. Oh, okay. So that shield of his might be a problem for me. One more to go. All right, then. Still trying to work out how to best deal with those uh, biogenetically enhanced shield guards. escaping the factory, I'm going to make you really regret coming out of your mother's wretched womb. <laughs> Every corner in this wad, there's a new surprise that I'd never thought would be coming out of the animated mouth of a cartoon pony. It's odd because <clears throat> I had uh, I had no qualms about uh, Penny sitting and watching the pixelated violence of the original Doom, but there's something there's something about uh, the <laughs> language in this mod that makes it seem a lot more a lot more uh, adult oriented than simply just spraying blood around. It might say something about how absolutely desensitized I am. To violence. No, oh, I'm horse meat. All right. And it's really not as if I think Penny will be bothered by violence whatsoever. She... she went through a doctor phase quite recently. Where she asked, well, if I cut your stomach open, would your guts fall out? And, uh, and then just very calmly, not nastily, just casually said, I'm going to cut up your body. Ooh. 
Whoa, okay. So uh, watch out for those after they fall over because they'll uh, just uh, explode. All right, into the Nazi castle. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I find it a little bit difficult to tell when I'm being hurt in this. I don't know if it's just because the screen flash is different. Can you not shoot those turrets uh, until they've activated fully? Oh! So what do we what do we do? Do I just keep shooting you here? Do they have a certain amount of time they use their shield, and then you can shoot them again? That's a, that's a very clever mechanic. Yeah, the, um... That seems to be the tactic, to leave them alone while they have the shield out and just wait until they decide not to use it. Not much going on in these rooms. Access card. Okay, I've got the red one. Uh, where was that? It wasn't outside the castle, it was up here. Ah! <laughs> That's Wolfenstein, isn't it? With another uh, sort of very horse-themed edition. Tornado, useless. How to, how to ruin Scootaloo. <laughs> All right then, the blue access card. All right, and uh, using the freeze gun on them prevents them from using their final explosion attack. Oops! I uh, wasn't quite aware I was using the uh, high explosives there. <laughs> Why would you make a pony say that? <laughs> uh. 
Ugh. All right then. Rainwater facility. The uh, food items as the uh, health re restoration reminds me of, uh, I know it's Rise of the Triad, but it reminds me of Commander Keen as well, the pizza and uh, popcorn and stuff. Even though that uh, didn't restore your health in Commander Keen, it was just the pickups. That was a recent pennyism when she, uh, I'd made fish and chips for dinner in the traditional Scottish style. And, uh, she, she said, oh, Mama, your dinners are always really healthy. Daddy, yours aren't. But she has a, she has a strange view of what healthy is. She means it to you, she, she, <laughs> she uses it to mean tasty. So, she thinks pizza and noodles and uh, anything she likes is healthy. Yeah, I would possibly make these less boring to fight. Um, maybe by making explosives ignore their armor. Because you can only do a couple of bit points of damage to them. Per hour. And they, they keep facing you, even when they're rooted in place. Yeah, no, nothing damages them. All right, I took some grenades to the face there, but uh, it's nothing a few bites of pizza won't solve. <laughs> so, um, uh, Sivvy, in his videos, keeps a running tally of how many sewer levels he's had to go through. And uh, this one will definitely add one to him. Oh, this can't be good for you. Why have they got gar Why have they got guardians down here? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's an interesting uh, rations machine that's sunk. Maintenance card. No, no, it's a green key card. I can't tell. <clears throat> I'll pay attention to which uh, quarter of the key display it uh, highlights. Now I know that the um, 
I know that that's meant to sound like his radio distorting his voice, but it, it just sounds like the voice was recorded a bit badly. <laughs> Please touch me, surprise. Well, that wasn't the uh, jump scare screamer that I had uh, anticipated, to be honest. <clears throat> Let's get up there. All right. Oh, sorry, that's me. Can I bounce it off the wall? No, I can't. Explode! All right, then. Well, no pain, no gain. I'm. I, <laughs> I find this mirror incredibly confusing. I possibly shouldn't be this uh, flummoxed by mirrors unless I'm a cat. Ah, waterlogged pizza, my favourite. There he is. Oh, they were watching the uh, the sewer area quite intently. Wouldn't be my first choice for a security station. But maybe they know about the game tropes. Oh, I'm frozen. Received a hot meal. All right. The uh, damage uh, balance a bit reminds me a lot of a build engine game where you lose health points really quickly, but you you also gain them really quickly. Bloody hell. I wonder why I have the, they, they have these built-in crushers. A bookshelf lowered somewhere. Ah, whoop. Where are you, bitch? Where are you, bitch? Ah. Oh, 
I need my pizza, hang on. No! The peg pole. That's the. I think that's the immediate threat gone. The rest of the Pegapol are uh, out practicing horse stepping, going Kyle Hoofler. That's the best I've got. All right, not through there. I genuinely have no idea what's changed about the map. I'm going to have to search all over. Did that hurt me? No. Let's have a look. <clears throat> it's not even like I, I, I've got a particularly big... No, there's a big arrow there. I don't have a particularly big area to cover. Find a secret area, but what does that do for me? Hmm. Do I have to hit a switch somewhere else? <laughs> that still works and everything. Oops. Hmm. Don't like the look of that. Where is this elusive bootcase? I bet it's in the offices that I went through on my way up. <coughs> really been uh, playing some epics recently, haven't I? The uh, one and a half hour videos for uh, Marek's Dungeon and uh, the RB Doom. And uh, I'd expected this one to be a, a, a short one, but this is quite an epic adventure as well. Raise the flock. Hmm. Oh. But that's not a bookshelf, it's a door! Alright, oh, hang on. Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if the bookshelf, it means, is that the one beneath the... Uh, the sewer area. I wonder how uh, long it uh, takes to reset.
No, it's not really a bookshelf, is it? It just looks... It looks very strange. I, I'm I'm sure that there's an, uh, there's an exit to a secret level here. That's, that's why I'm being so persistent. I'll try... I'm going to try one more time and uh, try to be a bit more efficient about it. How do I get there? You know what? I'm going to just load that game and just wait to see how long it takes to reset. Penny had a bit of a small My Little Pony phase. And then she encountered an episode that scared her, and I, I don't know what it was, but uh, then she decided she didn't want to watch it for a while. Ooh. So she's back on her uh, Looney Tunes now. Ugh, excuse me, I got, I got up too early this morning, as I do every morning, because Penny now runs in and wakes me up saying, make me breakfast. She used to be very happy. Uh, you know, we'd leave something out for her, like, like cereal, and we'd put a cup of milk in the fridge, and she could do it herself. But uh, recently, she's decided uh, she wants us to be up there with her. And do you know what? She's right, because I go to bed too late, I get up too late, and uh, I'm going to have to get used to not doing to that uh, in one week uh, when she starts going back to school. We're probably all going to be okay. Not seeing this door, uh, not seeing this door reset yet. I'm gonna take, uh, no, I'm not gonna take a quick peek in the editor. If I don't find the secret level this run, then I won't find the secret level this run. The first time when I was looking for this door, did I just forget to, uh, did I just forget to press the switch? Alright. Well, as I have been completely unable to find the bookshelf, I think we're just uh, going to go out. The secret level could be a secret for another time. Everfree Dam is next. Yeah, that's a dam, alright. And those are damn scary. Why do you have zombie ponies? Alright, that's going to take some unlocking. friend Oh they <laughs> That's me <laughs> <laughs> That's me All right So I can't get in there anywhere yet. Alright, so I came in. That rainbowizer. Rainbowizer Are you sure? That's inconsistent. Or was I able to break vents before? Or they were, were they always 
but that was just broken already. That's, that's a door, isn't it? Yeah. I'd like to be able to uh, shoot those before they start firing. Uh, what opens that? Definitely need to get in there. Now, to me, that looks like a red door. I suppose that, um... I suppose that it doesn't have the lights around it. It does have the, uh, dynamic lights, but it doesn't have the... Uh, that's not a door at all. I am very confused. I just can't get over it that you put that into the game. Oh, I'm using the rainbow wipe. Almost time to restart Windows. Wait an hour. You know what? I'm going to install Linux so that when you try to reset, you'll reset into that. Done that on my laptop. That'll show it. Sometimes I'll turn on my laptop and it'll suddenly be in Linux because uh, Windows decided to randomly restart. And uh, Linux is the first one in the boot list, so it goes into that instead. And I, I get a frankly strange amount of pleasure from that. Uh, what am I doing? I've completely forgotten. The, the, um... Uh, 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 there it is. Yeah, this room. I didn't get anything out of it. There it is, okay. Might be nice to have just a light or something on one of those uh, windows so that they're... you really can't miss them. Bloody hell. Alright, something happened to my left. Uh, oh, which is uh, towards the red key area. I'm surprised it didn't... Uh, have any indication that that was what it was doing, though. I'd have to walk all the way around. Shooter. I'm just going to get out of here. Okay, so the red door... Where have I even seen a red door? Ah! I wasn't expecting the zombies to have uh, quite such potent weaponry.
Should be to be crunchy. Ah, that's how you get there. I don't get out. Oh, thank you. Can I do the same from this one? Oh no. Okay, that one leaves me here. <laughs> do it again. Where was the red door? Do I have to explore back in here where I left all those enemies? you yourself it's gonna be really weird if uh, Penny wanders in behind me can we play Doom yes yes come on in can we play the My Little the Pony game uh no There must have been a red door somewhere. She's over here. Ah. Yeah, this is when I got it. Yeah, Windows is going mad with the notifications that you haven't restarted me! You haven't restarted me! You're using me too much! Didn't expect I'd have to do everything as the operating system. Okay, I did I did pull that. Oh, did I really not? Okay. And that's, uh... That's how you get in there. But, if you go through the front side... Oh, nothing happens. Okay. Alright, and this is where I'm heading, but I don't have the blue key card yet. Have I seriously ever been to this side? No, oh, don't I look stupid? All right, so I've got to get the the, the uh, blue key card from this side, I imagine. Well. I, should, I shouldn't keep moving forward, I can't see!
It's... Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh my, oh, goodness gracious me. When I praise the creativity of the, of the My Little Pony Phantom, I did not, I, I, I was not anticipating uh, what was to come in this whatsoever. Oh, good gracious. All oh, right, that's caved in, so I haven't found my, uh, my uh, blue key yet. There it is. Call a janitor more like, you're not piecing him back again. So I'm not sure what that energy stuff is. There was this stuff I remember called the Smooze in you know the, the 1980s series that, that was this kind of corrupting influence, but I don't know. There we go. Where's my rainbow eyes? Have I used it all up? Now they're like the quake zombies that uh, you need to blow them apart and let, unless uh, they might get up again. I thought this map was over, honestly. Alright. Yeah, they are Scootaloo. Is it Scootaloo or Scootaloo? I can't remember. It must be Scootaloo because it's Scoot DX. I haven't mentioned the music yet, but that's pretty good as well. Woo! Forgot about that. Chernobog Laboratory. 
Sounds, uh, more USSR than, uh, German. We'll see. Well, that's a broken bridge I'm not getting over. Spectra, say, oh, Spectra, that was its name. Avoid long-term exposure to raw Spectra liquids. Is it Spectra or Spectrua? I don't know. Oh, hey, Scootaloo. Uh, hi, Cancer Mouse. Who? I want to talk to you about something all the kids love. My Little Pony. Oh, that wasn't so bad. On 4chan. Oh, please make it stop. Now, 4chan found this radio show host called Ghost, and he claimed to never watch My Little Pony. But it's obvious he's seen season two because... Can we not do this, like, ever? I'm really busy, and I gotta find my friends and bust out of here. Oh, and I thought you were a melting pot of friendship. I don't have time for this. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Oh, don't know what that was about. Hi there. Hmm. Mysterious. I forgot my uh, jump distance was quite so uh, long and so high. Nice little rainbow texture there. Hmm. Bathroom's not looking too good. All right, we're back into the action. How many monsters have I got to go? Oh, 92 monsters in this one. I, I thought this was just going to be a boss level, to be honest. Starting to get rid of, uh, starting to get the hang of uh, which weapons are which now, I think. Well, it seems the zombie may have uh, won that particular experiment uh, unexpectedly. Oh, God almighty, what are you? I live again. At last. Those have a few more health points than I expect, really. I wouldn't expect an enemy uh, that uh, visually small to be able to survive an explosion.
you can tell the difference between the enemies uh, close up, but because they're all drawn to much the same model, it's quite difficult to pick them out from a distance. It's like playing with Arnold Schwarzenegger in pony form. Difficulty telling what uh, which doors are locked how. I would possibly uh, improve those enemies by putting a counter in them to prevent them using their shield too much, but then would it really make sense? I don't know, something to get around it, because at, at the moment they're kind of boring to fight and I just prefer running away from them. Even just having them uh, stay rooted to the same direction while they're shielding would help, so that you can jump over them and uh, get them from behind. You'd have to do it by um, maybe putting a little invisible object in front of them that blocks damage from one direction, I'm not really sure. Or maybe I'm still thinking in uh, a too decorate way, decorate being the older uh, scripting language with Zed Doom and there's, there's a much easier to, way to do it now Zed Script's available, I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that you have three different kinds of armor. I thought, uh, having just glanced at them, that uh, bulletproof armor was the lowest one and then uh, fireproof armor, but it looks like they absorb different kinds of damage, which is interesting. Where's the red door? There it is. Oh. All right, where's the green access card? What are those wasps?
I just, I just, they've got so much health, or and, and that's it's just anticipating my shots and just shielding themselves from it before they arrive. Oh yeah, okay. So synthetic visor, grenade cannon, bomb collar, reflective shield, and bunched up tail. The very important spectra wasp, hard light wings, sensors, storage tank for spectra, spectra sprayer, and energy weapon. I don't like the sound of that. There he is. Let's get out of here. Ah. Oh, Dr. Atlas is here. Now, I didn't see where he was. Some doors that are so locked, the word locked doesn't, uh, frankly, begin to describe it. Alright, through that vent. Oh, the atmosphere family! <laughs> Chicken mode! It's been a while since I encountered this. I can hack it ineffectively at a shield. Oh, there isn't a way out. All right. Main However, boat. I too have something else in mind for you. <laughs> Bye. Doctor Atmosphere. Decorated it with pumpkins and everything. What a sweet bunch of maniacs. Oh, Jesus. She's not dead. She can't be dead. I'll save her. I'll crush you. I'll crush you all. And I'll save her. And you won't leave the factory. This is... about that, you crazy fucker. This is going places I didn't anticipate. I like the music, though.
I'm trying to think where I know the firing sound of this from. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's unreal, but uh, I couldn't be positive. All right, well, more of a frosty atmosphere now. Ah! I thought I'd, I thought I could get him. <clears throat> he seems much easier to deal with if you just kind of hide in the corner and uh, get away from his army. Get lost, you Nazi. Okay. Praise the floor. Say hello to your wife for me. <laughs> Scootily, that is absolutely savage. Scootily took the teleporter back to the main facility after killing the deranged Doctor Atmosphere. She saw a television screen there. On it was the head pony, the one that looked like Rainbow Dash. They had Orion Solstice over the gaping maw of a machine. Scootaloo. You killed my top engineer. You ruined me. Now I'll ruin you. Orion looked at the screen. Don't worry, Scoots. I love you. Kick flank. Goodbye. Before she could say goodbye back, Orion was dropped into the device. Fucking hell. The machine spat out bright components, mainly red. All that was pumped into a nightmarish contraption. You see, Scoots? That's what you get for crossing me. If you don't surrender, it's going to be Aurora next. Skulu, trying not to cry at the loss of her friend, raised the CB radio to her mouth and used it. Go buck yourself. At this point, Skulu had one goal in mind. They must die for what they did to Orion, and that machine must be destroyed before it causes even more death. Skulu went through a teleporter. It took her, not to another part of the facility, but to Cloudsdale's outer reaches. Cloudsdale Catastrophe, alright! I am Mambo Undash. You probably figured out that I'm not your big sister. In fact, you could probably say I am your worst nightmare. Once I've dealt with you, I'm going to make Aurora watch. Doesn't that sound delightful? <laughs> Bloody hell. Alright, so we've got uh, a cloud castle to go through now, I think. Now, what did that say? Da, 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 da. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that is a lot of uh, distance for a hit scanner to go over. Ah! Uh. Oh! 
<laughs> That's a fantastic death animation for uh, falling off. You really went above and beyond for that. I was expecting it you know, just to fall over like the normal death animation. So I've been recording this video in sections uh, throughout the day, and it really hasn't got any less weird. <laughs> oh, I can't get through there. It does uh, give you something different having this uh, amount of freedom of movement. You can really uh, jump and float quite far. Oh, okay, the, the rainbow are absolutely deadly. Oh, I can't... Um... It's like the uh, firewall from Rise of the Triad. I don't really... I don't really understand the who wants some wing thing. If it was some um, hoof, that, that would pack some punch. Whoops! I just want to see what's down there, actually. If it's, uh... How the skybox is made, I mean. No, I, th I thought I saw something I recognised down there, but maybe I didn't. No, it's, ju it's just a landscape from above. Oh, I didn't realize that was uh, liquid. What was it called? Spectra. I suppose it's... Uh... Ow! I suppose it's from uh, Colors of the Rainbow. It's the raw materials that they used to make rainbows. I don't know. Oh, have I just come round, right round the other way? Okay. Yeah, that was where I teleported in. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure of which uh, ammo uh, corresponds to which slot and which weapon. So I, I often have difficulty selecting a weapon with ammunition in it in a hurry. <laughs> I just can't get over that taste the rainbow thing. I don't know, I feel like I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit too soft-spoken for, for this game. Maybe I need to throw a motherfucker or two into my own commentary as well. I feel, I feel very uncomfortable <laughs> having just said that. Oh, wow. Ah! Where'd that come from? Right, here's a rainbow. Oh, was it uh, shooting all the enemies that let me get in there? All right. 16 out of 53 monsters. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing at that for days. If you, uh, if I ever just randomly burst into laughter during a video from now on, uh, that's what I'm thinking about. Oh, it's Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> it couldn't be Gordon Ramsay. Gordon, uh, what's a male horse called? Gordon Coltsy.
gave you the chance to say goodbye to Orion. I apologize for being Oh so Jesus rude. Christ. You can have him. <laughs> okay, that was actually a bit better than what I was expecting. I was I thought I thought he was going to come down on that pillar pre-compressed into little burgers. Was the horse meat scandal the big thing in America as well, or was it just uh, Britain and the EU that uh, suddenly we found out a lot of uh, a lot of places had been putting horse meat into things without telling anyone? And it was the manager of. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to blame any supermarket with, that could sue me. <laughs> Uh, but it was the manager of some supermarket who made things worse by saying, "Well, of course we don't test for horse meat the same way we don't taste for, we we don't test for hedgehog meat." And there, there might be hedgehog meat in there as well. If this is a cinema in the same way as the one in the Duke Nukem 3D is, I'm never going to forgive you. Let's see, uh, the Red Menace coming to a theatre near you. The Great Minds of Science now play. <laughs> Alright, so they're... They're very into their propaganda as well. Still not down. You want the wrong chicken. You fell the pieces. What why do you sometimes censor the word fuck into buck and sometimes you don't? And I can't imagine that this was a this was a, a, a something that came from the program. They they wouldn't use the word "buck" like that in the seven-year-old's program. I oh, I don't know. What? I'm trying to think of. Uh, I'm trying to think of the pun that that's behind having a gigantic bottle of mayonnaise on the screen. And it's just not coming to me. Uh, Mainbug, Mainbow conquers the synth barrels. Coming somewhere to a theatre near you. All right. And here's another poster for you. Ah! Sam, hold up. Get lost. Sorry, sorry. I, I I thought I'd reached the point where where taste the rainbow. <laughs> I, I I thought I'd reached the point where that wasn't funny anymore, but uh, it, it it started all over again. Well, let's work on your line, Scootaloo. Oh, 
Oh, are you meant are you meant to be GLaDOS? It's a very GLaDOS thing to say. Alright, where's the management access card? Okay. That's great, but I was hoping to uh, get the access card from somewhere around there. Where is it? What is this song reminding me of? It's the Sonic 3 birth music, that's what it is. Alright, that's Clydesdale Catastrophe. We are going to the Pegasus device. Back now, Scootaloo. You have no idea who or what you're messing with. We will prevail. We will win. No, we had a war about this in the 1940s, and you're never going to win again. Nice, uh, oh, nice sinister sort of take on the, was it meant to be the My Little Pony music? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I can't, I, I can't uh, convert it to minor in my head, but I, I think that's what the music was doing. Da, 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 da. Oh, I didn't mean to waste that many rainbow charges. Ah. Oh, this is the uh, Nazi so hopefully there'll be some uh, food items around here once I've uh, mince-meated these horses. Thanks. Super armor! That'll do. Lead is not a farm approved horse food.
<sighs> oh. <laughs> well, thank you for saving me the trouble. Aha! Uh -huh. Cupcake! I am wanted in 32 states and 40 countries for war crimes I legally cannot disclose. Well, if it's a war crime, then it makes sense. You can't legally disclose them. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Hello, Penny. How are you? I'm great. All right. Yeah. You you kind of scared me quite a lot there with uh, suddenly waving in my face from the side of me. Yeah. Uh, this is a game that you definitely should not be looking at. <laughs> Shall we go upstairs? Yeah. All right. Sorry about the screaming. Uh, as you may have noticed, I don't really take to shocks well. Oh, what? What is getting me from the side? Ooh! Deep fried by the Pega Whiz. Um. All right. Oops. All right, um, yeah, whatever massive deadly thing got us last time, it seems to not have bothered us so much this time. That's a green key, good. What did it do? Oh! I just keep on thinking about uh, how much this is influenced by Rise of the Triad, even the... Um, the flying guts and things look quite similar to how uh, Rot handled them. What's this one? Okay. Praise the flock. What's the flock about? Because the flock, you don't call a group of horses a flock. Maybe it's a allusion to how they're more sheep-like for following uh, Hitler pony. Or is flock a, a something something to do with horses that I don't know about? Okay. I've realized I've been so utterly distracted and flabbergasted by the unfolding events in this world that I haven't really commented on the architecture. Uh, it's 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 different. It's it's very plain, but you kind of don't notice because the the, uh, the style is so different from Doom. Aha! The the Rainbow Eyeser has got to be the start of the show here for multiple reasons. But we'll put it away just now.
Is this one green? Yeah, probably. God. I don't know what my life's come to. I'm playing as a little horse girl who talks like a Quentin Tarantino film. It takes so bloody long to kill them. I'd, I'd, I'd love for that rainbow gun to be off limits for the auto chooser, like the rocket launcher is. Yes, this looks like uh, it's going to be an arena fight to remember. We'll see. Yeah. I'll buck you too. Uh. Ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, her saying chill out there just reminded me of the uh, Reiner Wolf Castle film where he bursts out of the ice sculpture and says, I still see you. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can get up here very easily. Okay. Well, if I press the right buttons, that is. Okay, jump. That's good. I'm keep a jump. There we go. Thank you. Do the guns in this game have uh, pretty low ammo capacities across the board? I'm not sure if I'm just imagining it, but I, I seem to, I seem to never be able to pick up a gun when I find one. Wow! Look at this. And just after I'd said the architecture was kind of plain as well, this is uh, definitely stepping up a level as uh, we approach the climax of the game. Oh, I thought that was... Uh, I thought that was wires on the wall for some reason. Oh, there's the... Uh, the... Uh, no. Hamburger machine. Yeah. <laughs> Run! I learned to fly at pony school. That's what they do there. 
Oh dear. Okay, so what do I get? I've got the red card now. Oh no, I already had the red card. And I put the the uh, pony mincing device into maintenance mode. Whatever that does. And wait for it. Thank you. Where now? Got that key. Used it in this. Now what? I can't just drop down, can I? No, I was thinking, could I swim under and go through it that way? Thinking. All right, so that's the uh, Nazateria down there, and then there's the red key area over here, which doesn't seem to have changed at all. And we opened this up, we got the green key from here. And... What else happened? We haven't been to the starting area again, but I'm not sure how that would help. And all this, yep, yeah, that's all fine. So I must have must missed some way to carry on here. Aha! Pegasus device security disabled! Pegasus device overheating! Mainbow sounds oddly calm given the circumstances. All right, what now? Because there've been two rounds now of not really knowing what else to do. Ah, did this open up? It did. That and that's the exit. Okay. That was the Pegasus device. Perfect eight. Uh, just the. Whoop. Years planning my revenge. I spent years plotting with other Pegasi, just like me, to put an end to incompetent fucks like you. And what? For nothing? No, you cannot stop me. I am a god, and I will smite you if it's the last thing I do.
Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd rather about this gun. I haven't got any ammunition for it for a while. I feel I should be going at this quickly to uh, respect the pace that the, of the level, but uh, I'm not really sure. Ah! All right, that possibly wasn't the best thing to do. Keep, keep. Ah! Boing. Can I get out of here? There we go. Hello. This uh, music sounds very uh, Unreal Tournament as well. Specifically, uh, uh, run.utx. Not utx. UNR. No, that's a map file. U UMX, that's the one! Which is a reasonably disguised mod file. I can't open that. It's weird to me that um, the My Little Pony fandom does actually have a Nazi problem in it. There are, there are apparently loads of Nazis that uh, are drawn to the fandom. Perhaps they uh, slightly misinterpret the uh, theme of the program. I'm not really sure, but you know, in in, in reality, it's it's because they just uh, want to hunt for impressionable people. It's, uh, this is really interesting. So, uh, so yeah, my point is, make more games like this, where you blow them to bits. That's the correct response to the Nazis. And what I was going to say about the level design here was that it's interesting that you're going through, uh, you're going through these, uh, blown up walls and not through, uh, not through a normal progression through a building like so, like most of the other levels. Yeah, ah! Alright, so I can't let him get behind me, but I can't think where he came from. Where is he? Oh, there he is! <laughs> Oh. Do I have any ammunition for anything? There he goes. Escaped with four health. Oh, good, bind here. Well, that would have been a good uh, alternate way to, uh, alternative, I'm very sorry, way to uh, get round here and avoid the confrontation as well. Right, is that it? 39 out of 51, so I skipped quite a lot then. Oh! laughs evilly in the subtitles there and uh wouldn't we all like to do that as level designers just have a voiceover of ourselves laughing maniacally as we trick our uh, players with a fake exit
Yeah, lost. You know, I'm not even mad. If I can kill you, all this will be worth it. All that matters is if you die, and I can shame Rainbow Dash for what she did to me. She'll see me for what I am. A god. <laughs> All right. Is this going to be the boss? Mainbow is the boss level. Mainbow prepared to take on Skulu. In his preoccupation, Aurora managed to slip away and hide somewhere. Will Skulu be able to save her, or will she meet a terrible fate like Orion did? Mainbow was armed to the teeth, and he was not going to go down easily. It was do or die. I see that you've made it to my lair. You know that I've got a little surprise for you. Consider it a gift before your untimely demise. <laughs> so there's a sort of pony cathedral. Cupcake says, other cupcake wrong. Felix is best boy. What's it? Pink lady. Oh, are these the, uh... Yeah, are these the, uh, people who wrote it? Oh no, and these are the these are the villains, the CEO, the head of engineering, and uh, the CFO. <laughs> All right, here we go. Welcome, Scootaloo, to your surprise. We have a second device that's better than the first one. It's only a prototype, but I'll finish it first. You must die. Mainbow. Why do all the villains waste time uh, monologuing? I, mean, I know she was invincible, but uh, there's really no reason I couldn't have just uh, shot her in the face while she was doing that. Whee! What's that noise? It feels like, um, for the voice acting here, it feels like you couldn't really go for it as much as you really need to for a super villain like this. And it's often difficult to find uh, proper places you can record. But she, said she just sounds a bit more laid back than I would expect. Is plucked the wrong chicken the thing from the program, or uh, is it a horse thing? Because it's not a chicken, it's a pony. She sounds like she's doing a Marks and Spencer's advert. It's, 
It's a kind of bland instrument, this thing, isn't it? It's just saws everywhere. Sorry, I couldn't hear you from all the rockets in your face. Whoop. Ah! I am a filly! Skulu stood over the dying body of Mambo Undash. He dropped the amulet, as well as a rose-colored contact lens. His cutie mark wore off. It was painted over. Oh, it's a he! Skulu Sorry about all that! It was lightning dust. She had disguised herself. Skulu was in shock. Why lightning dust? Because her big sister ruined me. What better way than to ruin her legacy? I wanted her to suffer. So I worked my way up the Cloudsdale Weather Corporation ladder and hatched a plan to give back at not just her, but you as well. Skulu took a step back. She couldn't believe it. You did all of this just to give back at us? Ponies have died because of you. Mambo started to falter. I know. I let hate overflow me. And for that, I have paid the price. Skulu stood in awe as Mambo laid in his own blood. You see, Skulu? I knew you wouldn't pass those required exams. So I knew you'd end up here. I'd be able to destroy you in that machine. And then I could someday amass an army and take down Rainbow Dash and tell her it was all her fault. Mambo chuckled. I was such a fool. I let my hate blind me. Mambo faltered as he lost more blood. Forgive me. Please. Whatever waits me beyond this, I deserve and I am ready for. Skulu contemplated for a moment. She couldn't bear to think about all the pain and misery Mambo had brought. She <laughs> Just his hoof sticking out. <laughs> Bye. She answer. Oh. You know what? You're right. I'll forgive you. In hell. <laughs> Mambo was thrown into the second barely functional Pegasus device, head first. The machine puked out every known color to Pegasus kind. <laughs> Skulu knew what she had to do. The Pegasus race was too sick to save. It was disgraced by the actions of the Cloudsdale Weather Corporation. It needed to be purged. She got control of the Enforcers using Mambo's amulet, and later took control of the Spectral Wasps. She swore to exterminate every last Pegasus in Equestria and beyond, starting with the remaining forces of the Cloudsdale Weather Corporation. Those who chose to surrender were lobotomized, and forced to serve in her burning crusade. The loss of Orion and Aurora had pushed Scootaloo to insanity. Once she was done with the Pegasus race, no one knew what horrific crimes she'd continue to commit against life itself for the remainder of her lifetime. Scootaloo is no more. Her soul is but a fleeting memory, and her body an empty husk of her former self. All that remains is Absentia. Here she will continue to wage war against life itself, in the Rainbow Factory, where not a single soul gets through. I haven't... It hasn't gone unnoticed that the uh, medallion is a B in Standard Galactic, but I don't know what that signifies. Alright, so that took an hour and 49 minutes, not, exclu not including any, all the reloads. And, uh... That, uh... was it. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let the credits roll for you. Um... 
bit of a journey I wasn't expecting today, to be honest. I had no idea that uh, such uh, <laughs> such energy went into uh, games about defeating a fascist corporation like this. I don't remember this, but maybe we didn't get up to this bit of the program when I watched it with Penny. Maybe it goes places that I frankly can't imagine. <laughs> well, Victoria Prater, well done. <laughs> I, I really don't know what else to say. So yeah, again, very Rise of the Triad influenced low guards, uh, low guard. Yeah, the, the terminology of low guard, high guard is very Rise of the Triad. Now he's got a, a, a Zeta on his. Uh, I don't even know what what to call horse clothing. <laughs> oh, I, I like, I like that uh, avatar there. So is there a good ending or something that I can get by maybe going to the secret level and uh, finding something secret so that I don't become Pony Hitler the second and uh, erase all the Pegasi? Oh, that reminds me of Hedon or Heden or whatever it is, uh, where that avatar is from. Uh, I, I really want to play that as well. That's another GZ Doom that's uh, out on Steam and at Census as well. Uh, who I've worked with uh, on a couple of projects in the past. Did a bit of, um... He, he did a bit of the boss code that eventually ended up in the scent of Titan. Ah, find Aurora for the good ending. Okay, so I've, uh, I've left uh, some mysteries for myself in this epic Nazi pony adventure <laughs> if I decide that uh, I need to go back for the good ending so um what else can you say after an experience like that well uh just make sure that if you've uh take care of your horses and if they ever start exhibiting Nazi tendencies <laughs> <laughs> Fair use parody. If I were Hasbro, I would be going mental at this. <laughs> oh, but we'll see. Um, if your ponies start to exhibit Nazi-like tendencies, then don't forget to punch them in the face. Goodbye. <laughs>